Now we are going to, dis to learn the, what forms the nose. It's cartilages, muscles, fat tissues. Um, and to examine various shapes of noses. What constitutes the nose? This is amazing uh, atlas of human anatomy with illustrations by Frank Netta. And first of all, let's enumerate the bones. This is the maxilla or upper jaw. This is uh, the nasal bone. This spot is called nasion. This is the acanthion or anterior nasal spine, spine of maxilla. Uh, this is uh, the bony part of nasal septum. No, some cartilage part. Okay. So this is the bony part of nasal septum. And this is its cartilage part. Uh, these are upper or superior lateral nasal cartilages and these are major or greater or lower alar cartilages uh, so and and these are muscles of the nose the transverse part of nasalis the alar part of it and this is the depressor septi nasi muscle that lowers the septum and this muscle, levator labii superioris helicoid nasi muscle, raises uh, the upper lip and the wing of nose. These are nostrils of, and wings of nose. They are formed by skin from outside and inside and some fat tissue in between. Now let's talk in more details. Look at this picture of a skull and nose cartilages. The upper cartilages, these cartilages, are attached to the nasal bone and, and form with, with it the nasal arch uh, or dorsum of nose. So if the nasal arch is straight, the nose is straight, like there. If, they, the, if there is a bulge, it's most prominent uh, at the point of connection of the cartilages and the nasal bone. If you wish to get rid, get rid of your bulge, a plastic surgeon can remove it in, a, in the following way. First, the surgeon cuts the skin and removes it to get access to the cartilages. Uh, then he cuts the cartilages of the bulge. So, and then the bones. After the, this, uh, the truncated nasal uh, arch with, with second skin looks too wide. And this is fixed by osteotomy or the surgical cutting or dividing of bone usually to correct the deformity. So, for this they are cut here, yes, here, brought together and fixed, so the bones are set closer, like on this picture. These are the photos before and after the rhinoplasty, including the bulge removal. 
the form and shape of the upper lateral nasal cartilages have a great impact at the nose shape. That. For example, Christian's Bale's cartilages are long, so his nose is longer here. While Charlie's uh, Theron's one is short, no, I mean shorter, and her nose is smaller and shorter. The cartilages are interconnected by fibrous tissue and covered by the skin from the outside uh, and the inside. And there is some fat tissue under the skin. So the cartilages are supported and moved by the nose muscles. The greater nasal cartilages or lower nasal, nasal cartilages are thin and, and C-shaped. The greater nasal cartilages are joined to each other by fibrous tissue. Fibrous tissue also joins the back of the greater nasal cartilage to the maxilla. The greater nasal cartilages are responsible for the open position of nostrils. Without them, the skin would sag and nostrils shut up and we stop breathing. So, each cartilage has the shape of a hook with two stalks, the external and the internal. External, internal. The tip of the nose is the band between them, this spot. The lower stalk forms a columella, actually this small column. By the way, when rhinoplasty is done by open cut method, uh, this cut to lift the skin and get access to the cartilages is done in the narrowest part of the columella, so that the scar wasn't seen. So if you touch this spot on your own nose, you can easily pull back the columella and move these greater nasal cartilages together with the skin. And you can also press the nose tip with your finger and feel that there is distance between the right and the left cartilages there. So, and if this distance this distance is always seen, even if not pressed, the nose tip is called split, like uh, this girl's nose. Uh, the red triangle shows the base of the nose and the holes are nostrils. The shape of nose greatly depends on the size and shape of the great nasal cartilages. As we've mentioned, the great nasal cartilage is C-shaped and has an upper and a lower stalk. However, they intersect with, with some curvature and not at the right angle. So each person has an individual and individual shape of the nose tip. Someone's long and someone's short and small. That's why the nose tip are so round like there. However, for some people 
This feature is more accentuated. For example, look at Monica Bellucci, Natalie Portman, Britney Spears, Charlize Theron, Jessica Alba, and Scarlett Johansson. Uh, and this is just one of the possible shapes of the lower lateral cartilages. Look at these photos. Here are some totally different noses. For example, the Harry Quinto, Sarah Jessica Parker, Owen Wilson, and, and Adam Sandler have similar lateral cartilages. While uh, the ones of Kate Blanchett and Jude Law are somewhat different and also similar. And and yes, it's interesting how much like are uh, the noses of Alec Tinkoff and Paris Hilton. Christian Bale also has an oddly shaped cartilage. His transition of his upper stalk to the lower is big and almost well greater than the upper stalk itself. Uh, if someone is not satisfied with the side or, or the shape of his cartilages, rhinoplasty can successfully change them as it's done on the on the photos, for example. That's if the surgeon is a real profession professional. So, so these are the photos of a repeated rhinoplasty on the noses which have already been operated, however, uh, without success. At first, in any case, if the rhinoplasty was successful or not, the cartilages get covered with a layer of connective tissue. And if the first operation was done badly, during the second one, the surgeon will have to accurately remove this connective tissue and, and do it to avoid damaging the cartilage beneath. So it's very hard and comp hard. And these photos show a horrible accident. When the previous surgeon operated on the cartilages, he's combined them awry and set them in, in a way unknown to the medicine. And there uh, he sealed them well in a way really unknown to the medicine, as if he was sewing a sock or something. So one has to be very wise and picky when choosing a surgeon. So let's compare two different shapes of noses. Uh, with some people, for example, Adam Sandler, the outline of his cartilages is clearly seen by the nose. Uh, and with others, it's not. For example, Nicolas Cage. Why? This is because the tissues that cover Adam Sandler's cartilage are thin, so the cartilage shape is projected on the nose surface. And these tissues are skin, subdermal fat tissue, and nasal muscles. If the muscles of the nose are well developed, it becomes more beefy and smoother with a rounded tip because it replicates the shapes, shape of muscles. Well, the nose muscles of Nicolas Cage are rather well developed and the shape of his nose reflects the shape of muscles and 
If the fat tissue under the skin is rather thick too, the nose becomes even more sleek and streamlined.